So I saw a lot of videos of people, YouTubers, buying weird instruments from online, either very cheap ones or very weird looking ones. I don't have that kind of money, but I can window shop, so let's check out what kind of Chinese flutes we can find online. Alright, let's start with the most obvious one. Amazon. Alright, I'm gonna search these. Okay. I mean, this case is the same as mine, so I mean, I guess it's pretty standard. I guess the same manufacturer makes all the holders. $2 for the membrane, plus $4 shipping. That's a lot. Quick tip, you do want to get this brand or this specific membrane. This one is the best and most other membranes are pretty trash and you don't want to use them. But even with this brand, you want to make sure that it's fresh. You don't want to use something that's two or three years old. There aren't a lot of reviews on these. Yeah, of course, Untamed. I don't know, don't fall for untamed flutes online just because I don't think they're made to be very good instruments. They're just made for a decoration or for your cosplay or something. Engravings on the top end of the flute is pretty common for these. But I'm not saying anything that's special or unique. They just look like typical these. Uh, this one's kind of weird. It's made. It's made from green sandalwood. What? What is that? Whatever. Don't know what that is. Got bamboo ones. Bamboo ones. Probably composite. I don't know, if you see something like, if you see a picture like this, maybe don't buy it. <laughs> and it's thir it's $14. That's, it's, that's too cheap. You can buy a Chinese flute at this price, but it's most likely not going to be good. Have a lot of notes that are off pitch, and unless you can go there in person and pick out one that's relatively on pitch, then, no, don't order it. Like the one I have, hold on, let me get it. Like the sea key deeds that I have, that I use for Big Fish, everyone's like asking, oh, where did you get it? Like, who's the maker? It's not a good flute. I mean, the build quality is not that great. It's a pretty cheap flute. I just went to the store trying to buy a cheap flute that I can carry around and play for fun. So I asked for one of their cheapest models and then I picked out from a bunch to find the one that's most on pitch. And this one was actually pretty on pitch when I tried it, uh, but I didn't notice that for higher octaves it actually goes a little bit high in pitch, but it's good for the price. Alright, continue looking. Okay, these recorded things, man, this looks so cheap. Oh my god, I bought something like this and the quality was the quality was so bad. It's it's like I would pay a dollar for it. Not this price. This is so bad. It's just made from one piece with some type of lamination and these holes are just they're just holes. Over here, the whistles, the holes. They're really poorly made, it's just handcrafted. So yeah, don't get these. These are uh, vertical bamboo recorders. I'm just gonna look at the one with the most ratings. This one seems like to be it. 4.3 stars. Let's check it out. This one is an F key. Has a nice case. These cases are pretty good. Has some Chinese 
um, calligraphy or characters on it. Gives you the flute. Gives you the uh, the glue to glue on the membrane. Gives you the membrane, which is going to be trash. You want to buy uh, the membrane separately. Unless you don't want to buy membranes or don't have any membranes yourself, go ahead and use it. It's better than tape, but no, they're not very good. They give you a nice little Chinese uh, tie or Chinese knot, but you can tie this onto the end of the food for a decoration. And they give you a green piece of. Oh, nice! I've been wanting to get that. So they give you a membrane protector so that. Um, your membrane is always protected, so if you so you don't accidentally puncture your membrane because it is very thin and very fragile. In middle school, I performed for the international night, and right before the show, I was just holding my flute and just waiting to perform and practicing a little bit. And these uh, little kids, well, I was a kid, but these little kids that came up and they're like. Can I look at your flu or can we, can we see it? I was like, I was reluctant, but then I was like, sure, take a look. But make sure, as I was saying, make sure the kid grabbed onto the portion where the membrane was and just completely punctured it. Because I was going to warn them to not touch that because it's very fragile. So that's a rush to the bathroom. Get the glue, get the cut out the membrane, and put put on the membrane to make the show. So yeah, don't let people play around with your flute. And if you have this little protector thing, it should keep your membrane a lot safer than just exposing it out. All right, so it's made of bitter bamboo. Okay, so that means more than three years dried. So this flute is made from regular bamboo. Um, regular bamboo is good, although because it's natural bamboo, each flute will be slightly different. That's why again, it's important to test out the flute if you can. If you look here, most Chinese flutes will have engraving on the top. It's usually some type of poem. But if you can tell that it's not engraved and it's actually painted on, do not buy. Those flutes are probably worth two dollars. They're not, they're basically toys. Uh, most Chinese flutes will come in two pieces and you can assemble them together. This is nice because then you can adjust the pitch. You'd rather have the flute pitch a little bit higher than lower because if it's high you can pull the two pieces out a little bit and uh, accommodate for that. But if it's too low then I mean you can't can't make it smaller. Alright, this is the kind of weird flute I was looking for. Yeah, they make a lot of... What the heck? Is this like r rainbow? Rainbow bands? If if you're a beginner, just, just don't even think about buying these. It's... It's too flashy, it's too showy. I mean, it's, it could be good for performances. If you're a professional, I doubt these flutes are even good. They just look fancy. Yep, same setup. What about this one? Oh, okay. Interesting. I've actually never had a foot with this type of bamboo. Usually this type of bamboo, I think, I think they usually make xiao with this type of bamboo. And xiao is the vertical flute. When you're picking bamboo flutes, you want them to be as straight as possible. Uh, these parts between the segments, I don't think it affects what's inside, but at least for me, it doesn't look that great, visually. Last one. So this should be a composite material, British brown material, yeah, Indian rosewood. I don't know, I feel like this stuff is, sure, rosewood or just 
some type of composite. These boots could be good. They might lack some of the feel that you get from a normal bamboo flute. And it might be a little bit difficult to play higher notes. I'm not sure, it could be just the one that I have. Composite flutes could be more on pitch because they're not limited to how bamboos are grown or the piece of bamboo that the maker is given. They can use a little bit more of a standard procedure to manufacture these. I'm pretty sure a lot of the more expensive Chinese flutes are made of composite material and not just bamboo that's cut down. The cheaper ones that are like say $40, $30, you can tell they're made from actual bamboo, like these. Now the price for this is not that bad, $27. I mean, that's about how, how the prices go nowadays, I think. If you're buying flutes on Amazon, they're gonna charge you a little bit more. So these, I feel like if it were, if it were me, I would buy these at 150 or 170 RMB. It's on Amazon, so it's convenient, and there's free shipping. It doesn't look like it's that good of a quality. You look at the holes, kind of average connector, as it connects. This one would be nice for beginners to practice with. I wouldn't buy it, but for the price, it's pretty good. Get, get your hands on one of these and start practicing. Not these. Maybe get this? It's a little more expensive, but I don't think it's worth it. This is... what? I'm almost certain this is not worth it. $70 for this? Nah, 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 nah. Nope. The next best website that you can try out? Taobao. Taobao is a Chinese website. Basically, it's, it's like Amazon for China. You should be able to find a lot more options here. Just gotta type in Chinese and be able to read Chinese. You can use Google to translate the page, but it's going to be a struggle. The sellers, I mean, trying to get the location correct, get all the information correct, get an account set up. If you're not Chinese, get a Chinese friend to help you. I'm searching bamboo flute. Okay, great. Wants me to log in. Just gonna search in Google and... There. Hey look, it's one of those uh, pocket saxophone things. I've always wanted to try one of those. I don't know how to play reed instruments, but I think I'll get the hang of it. it would be interesting to try, get a new sound. So if you look now, I mean, just from the pictures, you can tell there's a lot more options. You got some other ones, random like Western flutes and recorders mixed in here. But now you have a lot more options. Ignore the untamed flute, don't buy that. Unless you just want to look at it. Look at the price. This is an RMB, 200 something, 100, 120. So your lower end flutes which beginners could be using would fall into the 100 to 200 category. I mean, from the pictures, they look decent. I'm almost certain they're gonna have certain notes that are off key or off pitch. But what are you gonna do? Can't try it. Uh, this is a weird looking flute. What the? Yeah. Oh, this is an, another untamed one. Okay, never mind. Got some recorders. These are pretty cheap. Cheap recorders. Got a whole set. That's one, two, three, four, wait, five. Uh, I want to buy a whole set just because, I mean, if it's not good, then you just bought a set of bad quality flutes. Just buy them one by one. See if the seller is good, and if it's good, then Buy more. The first flute I had was made by Dong Xiehua or DXH, that brand. 
and it was pretty good. Apparently someone in the comments said they heard the quality has been going downhill as expected. They're making all these different models, but really it's not necessary. There's no need for hundreds of models of a certain key of these with the same material. That's how they get you. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting looking ones. So yeah, if you have a Chinese friend uh, and don't mind waiting a long time, you'll get a lot more options on Taobao. Now let's check out AliExpress. No, go away. What? It's not it. It's a flute. Oh, there we go. So these are gonna also be coming from China. This looks horrible. This also looks very bad. I know these are from like shows or cartoons. As an instrument, it does not look like it would produce good sound. This one looks kind of regular. I mean, the wood looks almost, the bamboo looks almost painted on. Yep, it's like $10. Not gonna be good. Mouthpiece. What? Okay, we found something unexpected. This is the kind of stuff I'm looking for. What is this? It's a blowing aid, easy to, easy to playing. Easy to playing. Yes, very nice. Okay, so basically it's a mouthpiece and you clip it onto the flute and it concentrates your air onto the hole. But why? This defeats the whole point of playing... I mean... What? Come on. Learning how to make a sound with your flute is... That's the first step. You're skipping the first step. Okay, so you use this. Then what, you just start playing songs? I guess? I mean, if it's... For fun, I guess you could buy these. But really, I mean, it's not that hard to make a sound by just using your mouth and blowing. Like, all you have to do, take your flute, match to the hole, put it above the hole, blow. Yay! So if you're a beginner and you're watching this, do not buy these Blowing Aid Helpers. Let's read the title. It's always fun to read these titles. Seven Angel Flute Lower Mouthpiece Whistle for Beginner Easy to Blow Bamboo Flute. Deeds a Blowing Aid Helper. Nice. Oh, we got membranes. Don't get these. These are not good. <laughs> get the ones I mentioned earlier. Oh my god, this looks horrible. It's so what? Why does it look like that? Okay, don't get that. It's escape. What other weird things they have? Oh, kazoo. Look at this. The kazoo is one thirty nine, and the helper costs more. If you're gonna buy a helper and buy a bamboo flute, might as well just get a kazoo. This is the kind of cheap garbage I've been talking about. This, you see this? It doesn't even have a poem on top. Like, look at how cheap this is. Oh my god. So these things you see here, they're supposed to be like tightly wrapped fiber or strings that kind of keep your food together from cracking. They just painted that on. The ends supposed to be, was it ox horn? The ends they painted it black. They just painted it. This is the kind of food that they've been selling in China at uh, tourist locations and they'll sell it for like 80 RMB, which is $10 or more. I think it was more, it was like 100 or 200? I have no idea. This is just garbage. Moving on, moving on. Okay, we got a Zelda Ocarina. Cool. Whoa. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah. I gotta try one of these. There are so many flutes with really weird designs and I've never tried one with a weird design so I'm curious 
see if they're gonna produce as good of a sound. This one seems like it was just painted over. It's a regular flute on underneath and they just added a layer of paint on top. This is cheap. Hit that like button if you want me to try this kind of flute. It's $15. Maybe I should give it a try. That's not a flute. It's a drill bit. Get out of here. Pan flute. Looks like a dollar store item. Flute incense. What? Is that the name of the company? You never know what you're gonna find on AliExpress. That's for sure. Got baby twists. Okay, okay. Let's see what eBay has to offer. This looks just as bad as the tourist trap flutes. Except it has a really annoying looking design. My eyes are blinded. Okay, this doesn't even have the membrane hole, so this is not a Chinese flute. Oh, we got a whole set from Hong Kong. Brand new. Wait, it's not a set. So you don't get tricked by these sellers like I did. You have to select the key, okay. Okay, this is $40, five watchers, I don't know what that means. Are you gonna trust a seller with an image quality like this? I can't even enlarge it, I can't even zoom in. No, we're not gonna buy Mario Flute. Moving on, again, crappy membranes. It's also common for flutes to have a, come with a sleeve like this. It's nice, but I think um, cases are better. They protect the flutes better. Nothing very special again, this lady again. Don't wanna see you. What? Oh my god, this is a metal flute? Oh. Titanium? It says it's an alloy, I think. But titanium? Maybe I can carry this around for self defense too. I don't know how well the membrane's gonna stick onto it though. Huh. Wonder how it sounds. See, this is why I make these videos. Cause I can't afford all the cool looking ones. This one is 170. That's not a diesel, don't get that. It's a bow. Different Chinese instrument. They actually modified it. It looked like a regular diesel, but now it looks like this. And it looks kind of weird. This is like the one I have. They're they're playable, but they're not gonna be very good. Nothing interesting. Oh, whoa, whoa! What is this, Bruh. This this kind of green. I'm trying to imitate the the color of bamboo. Oh man, got the white one. Green one. Oh, that looks so weird. It reminds me of like a like a green caterpillar or something. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they just paint over the regular bamboo flutes. There's no need in buying one that's either black, white, or green. Let's get the regular one, it's gonna be cheaper. And it's gonna look nice. God, what's this? I find it hard to believe that this is not photoshopped and that she's actually holding the flute like that. How do you... Uh-huh. Uh, a lot of weird stuff on these websites. Woodwind, portable, membrane, flute, these steamboat glue. Okay, so yeah, it's it's nice to buy these dedicated uh, membrane glue, just because I could make it. This one is in liquid form. There's two kinds. There's the liquid ones where you have like a little little tip, like a Q-tip thing, a sponge tip, and you kind of just wipe the fluid onto the flute. And another kind is where you have a single solid piece of glue that you have to wet yourself and then rub that onto the flute. I've never tried the liquid form ones. I would recommend just using the re regular solid glue. This could get messy. And, I mean, who knows what they put in this. Who knows what they put in the membrane glue, the solid ones either, but still use the solid ones. Cause they're solid. Haha, yeah. -ha, funny, funny, very funny. Five piece. Who's gonna buy five flutes in the same key? In 
and they all look like this. Lastly, let's check out Wish. One of my favorite sites, because they got all sorts of weird stuff. Let me just make a fake account real quick. Ah. Alright, I'm in. I'm in. Oh. Continue shopping. Cool looking pants. That's probably not gonna look like that. Alright, anyways. Back to flutes. Let's see what they have to offer. Again. The crappy tourist flutes. What looks like a... But yeah, I mean, the price is reasonable here. They give you the, some crappy membrane, a sleeve, all this like similar stuff to all the other sellers. But the important thing about Wish is you gotta ignore the price. That's right, ignore the price. Say it with me. Can you say ignore the price? That's right. <laughs> ignore the price that they list and go down and check the shipping fee. What they often do is take a portion of the real price and just add it to the shipping fee to make it seem like the product is cheap. But no, you gotta add them up. So this is $15. It's probably safer to get things from Wish than AliExpress or Taobao, especially if you're not Chinese. That's a decent price. $15 for a flute. Regular Western flute costs hundreds of dollars. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at the keys. It's important to buy a flute with a key that's that fits you. If you really like a song and you're just buying the flute for a specific song, then get a flute with that key for that song. If you're trying to start learning, then it depends. If you're, if you're a kid, if you like high pitch sounds, then you can go for a G key because that's very high pitched. With that, you can practice your lip strength um, it'll be slightly easier to make a sound with, require less air because it's smaller, maybe have smaller hands, then you can try G or, G or F. If you want to be, if you're more serious about learning the flute, then maybe try C or D as a beginner so that you can practice your breathing, your airflow. Your lip strength wouldn't get as much practice from lower key flutes because they don't require it as much. I think most people should be fine with starting with D, E, or F. Just a side note, in case anyone wanted to ask, oh, what kind of, what key should I buy? Buy one that you like. If you like high pitch sounds, then get the G or F. If you like lower, smoother sounds, then get C, C or D. You want something in, in the middle, then buy, buy E. I'm running out of storage on my phone, so I'm gonna have to stop right there. I don't know, maybe we'll do another one of these videos where I just look at random flutes. And maybe one day I'll try one of these weird flutes. But for now, we'll leave it at that. See you guys next time.